Alicia, thanks. Nearly 140 organizations and businesses in our area received funds from the American Rescue Plan Act, and the lands at Hillside Farms was one. Many know the business for its ice cream, and although they are proud of that, they say they have bigger purposes for the community, and the grant money has helped. Fox 56's Taylor Wartenby tells us how. Today, members of the Luzerne County Council stopped by the lands at Hillside Farms Education Center, where they saw firsthand improvements thanks to the American Rescue Plan Act. Basically, they want to see what was done with it. And so they're coming here uh, today to ask what we've done or what we're doing with the funding that we got through ARPA. The main purpose of the funding was to provide internet access and to fill in the communication gap within the property. This building is our education center. This building burned down and it was rebuilt. And when we, when we rebuilt it, um, things were just changing. COVID was happening, schools weren't coming out. And we realized we can reach way more people if we actually had a little bit of technology. For us, we don't have connectivity here because we're in this little valley behind the valley. A lot of cell phones don't work and it's very difficult for us to create content to go push it to the school, the school that can't afford to come here. The biggest portion of our grant is for a Wi-Fi network. So really hotspots and projecting signals through barns, through this education center, through our, our cow barn, so we can have live video. Their vision is to enhance the experience of their guest, making the land at Hillside Farms a place everyone can enjoy. Although it wasn't a large sum of money compared to a lot of the other grants that were given out in the county, it was an important dollar for dollar, may have been to us one of the most important things because what it's allowing us to do is we have all over the farm here, we have a lot of dead spots where we cannot get internet service. So this is allowing us to put internet service throughout the whole farm. What a wonderful thing to be able to help them. And with the camps, being able to help children to come here and see the um, animals and learn about uh, agriculture. Council members that I spoke with today say seeing how the money was spent and the need for it was rewarding. Reporting in Luzerne County, I'm Taylor Wartenby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. The farm says it's also hoping to have QR codes to scan in the near future for guests to have better descriptions of the animals and building.